Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a video about 2014 figures. The good, the bad, and just my opinion about it. <laughs> and actually a good friend of mine, Vector, recommended me making this video. And you know what? Not a bad idea. And kind of give you an idea of what I like for the past uh, year. There's quite a lot of good things and a lot of, uh, pretty much a lot of new things that came out in 2014. And looking forward to 2015. There's a lot of good stuff coming in. I think I already said that. Anyways, getting back to track. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna mention the 10 figures that I really liked. And I kind of just pick one for each line I collect. I do collect a lot of lines. I like trying out new things. Just, there's so many awesome stuff out there. So I pick a few. And, you know, there's a lot of the... I could have picked another figure. It's along the same. They're almost... <sighs> I really like figures. <laughs> it's hard for me to judge. On the other hand, I will also pick a few that I considered or I wouldn't recommend right away. I wouldn't call them worse. I always look at the good things on the figure. But there's a few things that I, I didn't really like in particular. Alright, so first off we have SH Monster Arts Godzilla right here. Now this is the rebrit version. And it's using the same mold as Burning Godzilla. Now it's kind of like a recaller, which they've kind of been doing uh, lately. But I wouldn't mind getting this again. I really like the mold of Burning Godzilla. It's articulate and I, re I just like it overall. And I wouldn't mind getting just the normal version of it. So this is my favorite for the SH Monster Arts line. Um, Biolati did came out the same year, but it's not Godzilla. <laughs> But Bilanti, she's great, she's massive, and just, just an awesome figure to have as well. Now, next up is the Sentinel. Now, I pick uh, Dino Getter 1, although I have Dino Getter 1 on the Pterodactyl mode, so I have the Black Getter here. I'm, I mean, I could just easily pick this one, but it's a recaller with a few variants. Now, for Dino Getter 1, it's probably my favorite, uh, just the way it's transformed, the way it shifts out, uh, you know, in terms of transformers, the way the body or the legs shifts out and turn into a pterodactyl, it's amazing. I really liked it. And I actually like the whole line, but I have to pick Dino Getter 1. Now, next up, let's see, we have uh, SH Figure Arts in terms of Kamen Rider. I have to go with Kachidoki Arms. I'm a big fan of Orange. <laughs> <laughs> and his armor is just amazing. I really like the figure. I'm just the paint out all the metallic. It's just amazing. And it's this guy right here, the one with the orange flag. For those who are not familiar with it. Next up is Robot Damashi God Gundam. Now this is the first one that has more articulation, more joints, and I find I find it really amazing. I really liked it. Just a lot of poses that you can do with it. Um, he has that nice halo on the back that you can put on. And you can move the wings, which you cannot do in other, I believe, action figures or mold kits. So that, I really like that. You're able to sway it back. Overall, I really like the figure. Now, Crossbone, a uh, full cloth is the close, uh, probably the next one I will pick. I just didn't pick it because of uh, the parts falling, falling down. It's kind of finicky, uh, putting it all together. So that's probably my close second. The crossbow full cloth. Alright, next up, Figma. I have to say, I really like the Shimikaze. She's really cute. And I'm really excited for the the upcoming Kankoli anime. And there's just a lot of cute things <laughs> that you can do with her. And overall, she's just adorable. I really like her. Now, there's a couple of... Uh, and again, a few close ones. I really like the Ninja Slayer. That's another amazing Figma. Um, what else is there? Starting to look over my shelf. Of oh, the Figma Terraformers. That that guy is amazing. <laughs> Despite um, it's mo it's a monocolor, but just the details. It's a great Figma to have. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna talk about the Marvels, uh, but that's more towards the uh, I wouldn't recommend, in particular Iron Man, but that's later segment. <laughs> and 
And uh, next up is Ultraac Nova, right there. I'm a big fan of Ultraac Nexus, and just seeing him in figure form, it's just nostalgia. And I'm really happy they made Noah and Dark Zoggy. Actually, they are the same mold, but just a recolor. But yeah, it's amazing they made this. I'm really happy for it. And next up, we have SH Figure Arts Batman, the Injustice version. I just got him. I have to say, he is quite, uh, he's an amazing figure. The details, the articulation, just, I really like it. It's, it's my favorite uh, SH Figure Arts so far. Next up uh, for Super Robot Jigokin, we have the Genesis Gao Gai Gar. Now, this is one of the SRC that are most un anticipated, and I'm really happy that they made him. He's just an amazing figure, a lot of die casts, and overall, he's amazing. I really like him. And um, comes with different um, you know, hands um, and you know, accessories, which I just didn't have, I didn't put on yet, but again, really really awesome figure it's quite big uh, next up is SH figure arts Broly now this is from the Dragon Ball line I think a couple of them came out this year we have Krillin um, 1817 uh, we got Barnes of Vegeta and other ones but I find that the Broly is it's a solid figure he is massive but from my uh, you can see from my review I like him overall and I have to say he's my favorite uh, Dragon Ball figure in the SH Figure Arts line so far. Yeah, he, he's amazing. <laughs> Alright, and uh, last but not least, I have to go with Revoltech Mini uh, Solid Snake. Now, initially, I'm, I'm not expecting much of this little guy here, but for how much... Uh, well, he's little, but there's a lot of accessories that goes um, with him. It makes you appreciate that he has everything. Then when you look at other figure lines of Solid Snake, they only have a few of the accessories. And like, uh, I kind of wish he has more. <laughs> and this guy is he's pretty cool. His eyes moves. That's one of the cool gimmicks. Um, and just something pocket size. I really like this. Um, not so much for the price, but hey, you're getting a lot of stuff you know, for something that small. You gotta give credit. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my 2014 uh, uh, figures that I would recommend if you happen to find some of them. Some of them are really hard to get now. Actually, just looking here, probably the Revo Mini and SH Figures Batman, you might still get them. Or even the Robot Damashi God Gundam, but everything else, yeah, they're, they're hard to find now. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, now let's go over the hard to recommend figures. Alright, um, as opposed to removing all, all the figures here, <laughs> I'm just gonna name them. Some of you already know what they are. The first one will be AGP or Argomar Girls Project Yamato. That is really hard to recommend after all the QC issues that uh, we've encountered. <laughs> and then Quite a bit of disappointment for the first uh, first AGP on the Kankoli series. So I'm really hoping they turn up the notch and do better on the next one. We'll see. <laughs> the next one will be the Sentinel Transforming Pen. Now that figure, the little guy, it's amazing. But one of the few problems is the price. Um, for some people, it's quite steep. And you know something from Sentinel. The, the quality is there, but it's just something small. I think if it's a little bit bigger, um, kind of like the God Gundam here, uh, people would might uh, get into it some more. I wouldn't mind a bigger pen, <laughs> but it, it is to transform to a pen. So, and even the variants he has, the the black convoy and the white Magnus. I wish they've changed or added something extra to those we're just getting a recaller so that, that's a bit of a shame we're just a recaller why <laughs> anyways uh, well other than I was able to make a gun out of that <laughs> anyways moving on 
Figma Iron Man. There's so much hype on that guy. Even they have the exclusive, uh, the EX version, which it's ridiculous how much the price went up. Now, Figma Iron Man is great, but the details are kind of lacking, especially for that uh, EX uh, backpack, the thrusters on the back, the panels. It's lacking details. And the flap on the arm, what's up with that? That's one of the few things I didn't like. Even the parts where he, he uses, um, I think for the yeah, the missiles on the forearms, you have to swap up the whole forearm, which could be troublesome, especially for the joints. I kind of wish they'd give you more of those wrist joints, and uh, they probably, yeah, I mean, even the rocket thing, they could probably done a better. Because I believe that, yeah, the, the rockets on the forearm is a whole forearm that you have to swap out. From what I remember. I don't even use that uh, gimmick. But overall, it's not bad. It's just, it's overpriced now. <laughs> Next up, Ultraman Ginga. Some of you might not know this, but Ultraman Ginga, I think, is the latest Ultraman uh, from the series. Yes, they do still make Ultraman. I just... I tried watching the show. I like the design, but the show sucks. <laughs> the figure sucks as well. The eyes, uh, like Noah has, it's something that kind of, uh, how do you call this? It's a clear plastic with kind of like a silver backing, so it reflects. Ginga, it's, you just get an opaque eyes. So, kind of sucks. I mean, they put clear parts all over him, but it will be nice if they do the same thing for the eyes. They didn't do that. <laughs> uh, next up, another Figma attack on Titans. Now, the problem with that is, I think you just get tired of getting the same thing probably four times now. Yes, four times now. And you get the same uh, Surveyor core, the three maneuver gear. You just different get heads and maybe different you know size of the body, but it's the same thing. And then that got... Um, that got tiring. Not to mention, it's really hard to uh, display them uh, with all that gear. And sometimes it just keeps popping off. Yeah. And uh, there's also that issue with the insignia on the back. That sticker that keeps rubbing off. Yeah, I wish they've done a better job on that one. But it's something that should have put a warning or somewhere. Yeah, I didn't even realize myself. I end up rubbing my Levi's. Ah. <laughs> it is what it is. And that's that. Otherwise, moving on, we have SH Monster Arts Alien. Now, SH Monster Arts has always been doing Godzilla, but they did uh, Sidetrack, they did King Kong, and they did Alien and Predator. Now, the Predator is not bad, but the Alien... <sighs> My number one grab on that one is the heavy diecast tail. The tip of the tail is diecast, and it weighed it down. Yeah, that's that's one of my issues. I think if they made it just plastic, so you can even help, it'd be easier to hold it up. It'll make it cool. But uh, yeah, that that's a bummer because you want the alien tail to be sticking up most of the time, but you can't. You know, it will just drag on the on the floor. <laughs> And I think the last one that um, my least recommendation is Play Art Sky Robocop 3.0. Now, when I got mine, I had issues, uh, which is predominant in Play Art Sky. Sometimes you just got lucky. You, you don't. Anything on the figure is great, even the joints. But on mine, I'm missing a panel. Not to mention the neck going to the head. It's kind of misaligned. And just overall, the figure. It's great. It's a it's not bad of a representation from the movie, but it's, it's it seems like it's lacking. I kind of wish you know there's more to it. I mean, they give you different uh, weapons, but it's just the folded version of the other one. Well, it kind of makes you dual wield some of them, but eh. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's something that I wouldn't recommend right off the bat. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really talk about mold kits because we're talking about mostly figures here. But if you curious, um, I built quite a quite a bit of mold kits over 
span of the year for the ones I remember I really like the high new I also like the GP01 real grade it's a I, I like that build. Um, I recently built the Master Grade Blue Frame D. Now that's kind of like the Blue Frame, but I like it. It's a little different. You have an ale pack instead of the tactical arms, and you get a lot of uh, blades. So it's 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 a little different. And I'm a fan of Astray, so I I wouldn't I, I want to call this. I didn't mind picking up another um, Blue Frame. Uh, and I think that's about it. Yeah, so that's my picks for 2014. Hope you guys like it. And uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe there's... We'll, we'll see what's to, uh, 2015 in, is in store for us. There's a lot of cool figures. Uh, hopefully, SH Monster Arts will keep continue uh, making awesome Godzilla-related figures. Um, same thing for Sentinel. Um, can't wait for what they'll make next. Um, I might try Kamen Rider Drive... I'm not sure. And uh, Robot Damashi. I'm slowly getting into them. I'm actually buying more Robot Damashi than before. <laughs> They're just great figures to have. And it's one of those that... Yeah, there's that... Oh, mold kits are better because you have to... You built it, that's part of the fun. But an action figure, it gives you more flexibility. And it's there, it's already ready. And sometimes you get more effect parts. Figma Kankoli, yep, waiting for more of them. Uh, yeah, we so far we only have, well, actually I, I just got a Kagi. <laughs> so I think we only have three of them in Kaga. We're still waiting for more. Ultra Act, that might be put on hold other than if they release the manga version. I'm looking forward to that. SH Figure Arts, Injustice versions, they're great. I might get more of those. Super Robot Chugoken, the SRT line, I might wait, uh, depending on which one comes out. And of course, Dragon Ball, uh, I'll keep buying them. <laughs> and for the Revolt Technini, again, it depends on which character, I might, I might pick them, or not. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks again for watching, and or pretty much just listening. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meats, thanks for listening.